Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about one of the best baits for fall bass fishing. It's probably my most effective fish producer in the early fall when this fish finch start their transition feeding on bait fish, want to cover a lot of water to catch a lot of fish, uh, and that's going to be a spinner bait. No matter what species of fish you have in your lake, where you're fishing, this fish will get shallow. They love to feed on bait fish, and it's just a super effective bait to catch fish throughout the fall months. So today we're gonna to break down everything you need to know about the spinner bait to have you catching more fish this fall and go over why this bait is so effective. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. And before we get into today's video, this portion of the video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. What the Deep Dive app is, is a app that you can type in all your conditions for your body of water and have you catching more fish on your lake in no time. So this local lake by my house right here, I can go ahead and pick that one. I can go ahead and pick on the patterns here. And then I can type in my conditions. So we're in the fall months right now. It tells you what to water temperatures you can expect for that fall fishing. So if your water temperature falls in that range, we want to fish shallow. We don't have a wind protected area with aquatic vegetation and largemouth bass and the lake level is normal. Um, we can go ahead and pick on the patterns right here. And I know that this lake either has clear or stained water typically. And right there is the spinner bait. So one of the ways I got the idea for this video is actually just playing around in the deep dive app here, saw this was an effective bait. I know that it's one that I always throw. So we went ahead and did a video for today. You can see it's a 10 out of a 10 effectiveness for fall bass fishing in the conditions that you have. It'll give you color options to choose from, where you wanna fish it, satellite imagery and Navionics images of uh, where those locations might be, how you wanna retrieve your spinner bait and all the gear that you need as well. So if you wanna check out the deep dive app and support today's video and the channel, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below but for now let's get into talking about the spinnerbait so for starters let's talk about what makes the spinnerbait so effective and why it catches so many bass in the fall um, number one is that those fish are just going to look to feed and eat as much as they can for the fall and winter months uh, they know they got to put on a lot of weight so they're going to eat everything they can and a lot of times if your lake has shad that's going to be the most abundant forage and the easiest to get so a spinner bait mimics shad better than any other bait out there. It looks like it literally has two giant shad on the blades here. Uh, and then you have a little skirt that actually is a target for them to hit. It's just a very effective way to catch bass when they're looking for those bait fish. The other thing that this thing does comes through cover amazing. You can fish it down the sides of docks. You can fish it through aquatic vegetation, uh, submerged vegetation. You can fish it through lily pads. I've done that before. Um, down the edges of lily pads. If they're, if they're sparse enough, you can fish it down in between. Um, you can fish it through rocks. You, I, my favorite way to fish it is down laydowns. Uh, if you have largemouth in your lake, you have shad in your lake, and you have laydowns, if you parallel laydowns with this thing, when they get up there feeding shallow and looking for bait fish, it's like irresistible to largemouth bass. They absolutely love this thing, and they'll chase it all over the place during those fall months in that like 70s and 60s water temperature. Um, We'll talk more about the actual spinnerbait selection, uh, colors, trailers, all that in just a second. We're gonna run through rod and reel selection here. Uh, and it probably looks a little strange because I got a giant whopper plopper on here, uh, but that's what I actually have on here for right now. I had to repurpose this rod just for a little bit for a tournament that I had. Um, I typically I'll have the same Corrado MGL on here, but it'll have 15 to 17 pound test fluorocarbon on it. It'll depend on what I'm really doing. Um, if I'm paralleling laydowns and stuff like that, I'm gonna go up to that 17 pound test. If I'm fishing more open water, I'll go down to that 14 pound test. Uh, most often I'm gonna have that 17 on there. And then this is just a basic rod and reel that I like to use. Um, this is the cash and core it's a worm and jig rod, but it makes an excellent spinnerbait rod. It's just the seven foot medium heavy fast action. Um, that's all you really need, medium heavy fast action rod. Uh, length, I like a shorter rod, that's why I go with the seven foot. I have a seven three, but I don't use it for a spinnerbait rod uh, because I like that shorter rod so I can roll cast it up next to lay downs and do that kind of stuff. So that's the way that I like to fish a spinnerbait. If you like to make far open water casts, 7.3 is probably a better option for you. I've even been known to fish a six foot nine uh, to really roll cast it in some type tight areas. That's my favorite way to fish a spinnerbait. Like I fish it almost like a jig. I will roll it right next to a lay down, let it hit at the base and just slowly flutter that thing right down the lay down. And then as soon as it's out of the strike zone, I reel it back in and make another cast. Um, I don't like burn it or cover a bunch of water with it or anything like that. I make super targeted casts and throw it right in there. So that's why this rod works so great for me. 
And then the backbone really gets that hook set good because you have a big single hook. Uh, so you need to get a good hook set to get it into that fish's mouth. Um, and then, like I said, 17 pound test fluorocarbon is usually my go-to. And this is the seven one-to-one -one gear ratio reel. I just force myself to slow down when I'm reeling uh, to keep that bait kind of fluttering in the strike zone. Now, when it comes to spinner baits, there's a lot out there on the market. Um, it's very hard for me. Like I, I'm very picky with my spinner baits. I've fished war eagles before. I like booyahs, but the, the thing with a spinner bait is you're never gonna get exactly what you want unless you build it yourself. It's almost like a jig. Uh, so there's some nice things about certain spinner baits and then some that I wish others had. So like the War Eagles, I wish they had a longer shank hook. Their, their hook shank is just a little bit too short uh, and it doesn't have a very good keeper. So it's hard to put a trailer on War Eagle spinner baits. Booyahs don't have very good blade selection, I've uh, found. Like a lot of them, I want double willows a lot of the time when I'm fishing in the fall. But in other times of the year, I don't want double willows. I want different kinds of spinnerbait blades. Uh, so unless you build it yourself, which if you'd like to see a video on how to make your own spinnerbaits and how to save money doing so, uh, leave a comment down below. This winter, I will actually make a video on spinnerbait building. I have all the lure making stuff out in my garage. So a lot of times in the winter when I have nothing else to do, I do a lot of lure building. So if you wanna see a video on that, I can break down how to make your own spinnerbaits. Um, these ones I did not make. These uh, are the ones that I've been fishing as of recently. They're pretty new to the market and that's the six cents spinner baits. Um, I'm still kind of testing these around a little bit. I haven't fished them too, too much. So I'm not gonna give you 100% definitive yes or no on these guys yet. A um, Couple things I've noticed on them off the bat. They have very thin wire, which is amazing on a spinner bait. It gives you better vibration, easier for the blades to spin. Um, this is a 3 8 ounce though. So I don't have the half ounce yet. They were sold out when I went to buy these. Um, and I don't have any of the bigger sizes. I only have the 3 8 So a lot of times what companies do, they'll actually put bigger wires in their bigger uh, spinner baits because of the heavier lead and the bigger blades. So that could uh, be a case on these as well. I haven't had my hands on the other ones to find out. Um, they do come in some great colors, but there's not a lot of color option on there. Uh, but you don't really need a lot of color option when it comes to spinner baits. I fish two colors and you'll notice right here, it's either a chartreuse in white or a solid white. And if I'm fishing a solid white, I'll fish two silver blades, which is what I got right here. Uh, and if it's a chartreuse in white, I'll fish a gold and a silver blade, which is what I got right here. The only thing I wish they would have done is reverse the gold down to here and have the silver be the big one. Uh, because even though the water's a little bit stained when I'm gonna fish this one, that silver still offers a lot of flash. Uh, and I want that to be the predominant color blade when I'm fishing around shad. Um, the other nice thing that these have, which I'm big on putting a trailer on your spinner bait, is these come with the screw lock keeper that I love for putting swim baits on stuff. Um, so that's an excellent way to keep your spinnerbait trailer already up on there and it has a long enough shank that you could put a um, Divine 3.2 on here and it would fit just perfect. Um, that's like one of my favorite swin uh, spinnerbait trailers right there is just an actual Divine swim bait. Uh, it works great, swims at slow speeds when I'm hovering that swim bait in place and it adds some more mass to the bait so that when those fish come up and bite this, if you have just a spinner bait with blades, a lot of times they'll slap the blades. And then when that happens, you might actually hook the fish still, but if you're ever hooking fish under the chin, it's because they're actually biting the blades and you're hooking them underneath because that hook, it just happens to be there. So if that's happening to you, that's when you're gonna wanna put a trailer on so that it gives them a bigger target. If you put a divine swim bait on here, not only does it add more mass so your bait will float up higher in the water, uh, it won't sink as quickly because it's less aerodynamic. So you can keep it hovering in the strike zone longer, but when they come up and bite this thing, there's a giant skirt with a big trailer on it and two of these tiny little blades, they're gonna go for that nine times out of 10 and you won't even need a trailer hook. Um, I very, very rarely use a trailer hook on my spinner baits. I'd rather use an actual trailer and hook the fish very good hook set that way. Um, if you're losing a lot of fish on your spinner bait, that's when you're gonna have to go to a trailer hook and I'll actually take the trailer off if I'm gonna use a trailer hook so that it doesn't interfere with one another. And that way, even if they're coming up and slapping the blades, you have double hooks there that will just get them in the face. You just have to make sure they're really sharp 
and you'll land a lot of fish that way. I would love to be out on the water and showing you how and where to fish this bait as well. I tried to cover best I could about like the paralleling laydowns and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm still waiting on getting my boat back uh, to be able to get back out on the water again. Uh, but if you wanna get out there and try that technique, I actually do have a video right here if you wanna check this one out. I actually went out and fished this bait last fall or a couple falls ago uh, around laydowns, my favorite way to do it. So if you want to see how to actually fish that bait, check that out right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos, fishing tips coming up. Make sure you leave that comment if you want to see how to build some spinnerbaits this year. I'll show you all about how to build your own spinnerbaits.